we got a <laughs> we got a long walk ahead of us. Let's 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 walk it, right? This is no longer a dead end, but this is also the direction we're going in and what we are trying to unlock. So we will not go down, we will go up. I think that is the best idea. What range? Holy crap! Threw it into the next room! I threw that spear before you even entered the next room! I'm gonna go right. Knock it off. So I don't know where to put the eyes. I really don't. Go right again. I might end up having to look up some of this stuff, because I, I would like to understand where things go without having to spend like 50 minutes wandering around going to every single room on the entire map trying to find, you know, where things go. It would be kind of nice if I could just look it up. So I might do that, actually. Eyes. I don't think I've seen anything that is like two big holes. I don't think I've seen two big holes in this entire game. Please drop, thank you. We want to go down one more level, then right. Now, somewhere in the library, I think there is one of those big dudes with a club. If we can find him, that would be perfect. I'm assuming I bought all of your garbage. Let us be. Buy things from me! Oh wait, I have nothing to buy! Zedra, yeah, I found the two gold eyes. Next puzzle is where the heck do you put two gold eyes? Library, yeah, that's where we need to go. What? This... Well, I mean, we have to... Right. We have to go through one of these directions at some point. How did that not kill you? You really have that much HP, right? This is the early part of the game. Oh, I also can't see their health bars. I like seeing health bars, though. So I'm gonna... Take off the fire resistance. Get out of here, ghost. I don't think you can use the eyes. I think they're for a quest that you missed. You know, at least we got the eyes. <laughs> at least we did the achievement necessary to get the eyes. We fought the bosses. If there is something that we're missing, you know, woe is us. That looks like a secret. But this is one that I can do. I know where to find these enemies for the Flask of Tears or whatever the hell it is. Um, not it's down. How did that not do any damage to you? You don't do much damage to me, though. Duh. That's another reason, though, why it is maybe kind of nice to be like, you know, I'm just going to look up what you do with these, because <laughs> if I look it up, then maybe I would know if I skipped a quest or not. If you land and then immediately do a slide, you can do it uh, without needing to delay. So somewhere up here, 
Hello. Oh, you were dead. Somewhere up here is... Not one of you. There's a naked guy with a big staff. Not you. But it is up here, I think. This guy. No, not you. Maybe there uh, wasn't one. I really thought that there was one, though. It's okay. Yeah, additional things that I've certainly missed out on. Um. Please fall. Well, that didn't work. I wonder. There is another one of those big guys with the club, or if I am gonna have to go all the way back to try to find one. <laughs> God, I hate the dudes with the books. Can't help but feel like this is definitely the wrong direction, but also, whatever. I don't need to go there. Definitely not the enemies I'm looking for. Stop. No one likes it when you do that. No one likes it when you throw books at them. Books are for reading, not for throwing. Oh, hello. Watch your step. Watch your step. These rooms can be awfully tricky. Okay, Torgo. The master's away right now. Did I not just do this room? Deflect the books. What? How dare you, game? How dare you give me this knowledge now? You son of a gun. I really thought there was going to be a big fat guy here, but I guess there isn't. I think this is the wrong place. I think we got to go back down. Actually, it might be this hallway. No, it's not, is it? Whatever, just die. I thought it was this hallway. It's not, damn it. Maybe it's the hallway directly above this hallway, but I'm beginning to think it was actually in the, uh, the painting area. Could actually be this hallway, depending on what enemy is on the left. Because it's, it's in the hallway where, depending on the side that you enter it, you could face one of two different enemies. Yeah, I think it is back down here in the sleeping canvas. Which is actually not that hard to get to because we can just drop down. Ugh. 
Don't do that. Stop hitting me. What are you trying to find? I'm trying to find one very specific enemy. I'm a, a, I'm gonna run under the assumption too that if there is secret stuff, it's probably probably has something to do with this. The not every this triune tree that sprouted years after his every year for twist. But maybe not. Or maybe uh, maybe it has something to do with the iron tree. Because we still haven't done anything with the iron tree. Because there's a door above it that I don't know how to access. Stop. Go left. I'll just go down the elevator here. We don't need to worry too much. Let me pre-equip fall damage negation so I can jump in the hole. Oh, maybe not. Unnecessary to worry about. I think it's one of these two hallways, maybe. Let's see. It's gotta be here somewhere. Then we're gonna have to go back, look around to find one of those big guys to kill. Um, I, I wanted to stay up there, actually. But, let's see if this is the right hallway. No, it's not. This is just the jumping puzzle for when you fall down the elevator shaft. I think it's this hallway? Let's see. Oh, but it spikes, though. <laughs> No, I don't think it's this hallway. I think it's the one after this one, but this one is just full of spikes. Look, at least these ones don't kill you in one hit. You know what? Oh, I know it's down here. Nothing's down here. Might be this hallway. I think it absolutely is this hallway. Stop it. Oh my god, it really is in vulnerability. That's awesome. Because if you open, if you enter this hallway from the right, you get that guy. You enter the hallway from the left. You get this. You're the enemy I gotta kill. Ow. Okay, now we're two thirds of the way there, I think. And now we have to kill one. One specific enemy. I know he exists here. In this hallway. I think there's more of him around. I just don't remember where they are. So I guess I'm just gonna go start walking to the one that I know. This is not exciting, but this is another puzzle that I know how to complete. Just be careful not to actually fall into the spike pit and have to do this all over again. Oh, there's another one here too. Didn't know there would be two, but there's a second one, which is uh, way closer to the checkpoint. Eh, 
very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Ah, you son of a gun. See if it works. <laughs> that is pretty handy. I could see myself using that. I wonder if it would protect you from spikes. I'm not gonna try it, but I wonder if it would protect you from spikes. Okay. Flask is still flasking. I think I still have the thing equipped, but I would still have to walk it. Okay. So I think there is one here. It's a bit of a walk, but... This quest... It's all about just walking. We've seen this before. In, uh... Very much reminds me of Hollow Knight, having to return the flower to the grave. Dun, 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 dun. And then honestly, maybe I'll, if I can't do any of the other quests, maybe we'll just go to the, uh, wanna go here and then climb. Maybe, ow, maybe we'll go to the, uh, end of the game? Because I think after doing this quest, I don't know what else to do. All of my knowledge is done. I should not let the enemies respawn. reason to let the enemies respawn. Patio of the silent steps. Silent, 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 silent. Okay, don't get knocked into the pit. We don't need to do that, but Maybe it would make my life a little bit easier. You know what I, hmm. We just gotta jump it. Don't fall into the spikes. Do not fall into the spikes. I like that you can use that as a, it's not really a good skip, but I like that you can use that little bit of extra height to get here. I don't think it actually skips anything, but it's funny to me. Okay, we need to equip things. Fall damage, red and green. Make sure you go, ooh, careful. Clunk, clunk, clunk. No, I don't want this. Gotta do that fast for some reason. Should be one of these guys up here, I think. Did I not go through this door previously and there was something here I was like, I haven't seen this before. Yeah, okay, it was this room. We've done this room. We checked that room, there was nothing in there. There's no enemies to kill. Maybe it was here? I think it's, I think it's actually that doorway. 
I think if I leave and enter, there will be a guy there. Ha ha! This mother effer! Oh, get that shockwave out of here. Completely fill. Excellent. Let's get the heck out of here. Ah, but there's still question marks. But I don't know what to do about this room. I think there's even like an item I can't pick up. Because I just, just don't know how to access it. There's another one there. Something about this area, man. I don't think I've ever been down here, though, with this on. Oh, I should have taken that elevator up. The ability to, to get a little bit of a sound cue when there's a secret nearby. Like, I think, I think this is also one of those rooms where it's like, I don't know what's here. Yeah, I don't think I ever found anything in this room. Just completely empty. Trees growing everywhere. But there's trees growing everywhere, so what does that mean? I'm pretty sure the uh, other question mark is also just an equally who knows room. Hack something something. Yeah, but that, that sign is everywhere, so I don't think that sign means anything. Crossing the gap. We, we, this is not the right way. Where am I going? <laughs> we want to go down left, and if we want to keep exploring, up left. Numbers change those as quirk. Six. Six. So unless they change inside of that room, also maybe not. But hey, you know, maybe maybe you got to go into the rooms in the right order. Who knows? Please drop down. Seems very inconsistent about when you can drop down platform. Just let me drop down. I'm not trying to cheese the game. I'm just trying to move. Pretty sure we've also done this one before. Then again, I think I am getting a secret indicator. Somewhere around here, I think I'm getting a, a breathing. Not Perry. Are you hearing that? I mean, I'm not hearing it anymore, but are you hearing that? Like, up there I'm hearing a <sighs> Which I think is the thing being like, there's a secret nearby, you gotta find it. <sighs> Been down this room before, haven't I? This 
This is another room that I've probably marked as like, what's in this room? There's nothing here. Shoot a laser beam, do something. be something just to the left here like this is a, a dead-end hallway that you should otherwise be able to access but I don't see anything except for a <sighs> which maybe now I don't actually hear so maybe it was just a part of the soundtrack maybe it was a bell not a breathing You know what it is? I think it's the enemies. <laughs> I think they go, <gasps> and I'm hearing them breathe. I think that's what it is. Oh God. I've been debated, I think. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Uh, we need to go here. It's a bit of a, a bit of a trek, but we can do it. Just don't die. That'd be the worst thing to happen. Maybe it's something to do with the rats. Maybe the rats are the secret. The rats are the key. Key rat. All right, see you later. Um. Okay, maybe don't just fall to your death. Oh, we can totally fall to our death. Just equip the thing. Descend into bottomless abysses, still active. Fantastic. Okay, wanna go left and down. I don't know why I felt like maybe there was something there. I don't know. Every time I'm here, I'm like, I want to go explore the fairest tree. <laughs> the Hall of the Dawning. I don't see any uh, big ho golden holes, so it's probably a can't do. Okay. I haven't been to the bridge in a while. Where are we going from here? We're going... Instead of going down... Mercy Dreams, let's go left. One. To the next little downward section. a easy enough shortcut. Actually, do I even have that on? I do have the bell on. The hand bell. It is a bell, actually, not a breathing, so I don't know why I was saying breathing. That is not the tell. Actually, falling here wouldn't be that bad. when we can go over here. Down one level. Got 
Gotta be careful we don't accidentally spike ourselves. That would be very detrimental at this point. Actually, we do want to go... What the heck? <laughs> a, little, a little nauseating, I'm sorry. Dun, 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 dun. Wanna go down here. Careful, man. I would still hate to fall into some spikes that I forgot were down here. Go down even more. What was this room? Fervor. What's this room? Down, left, down. Dude, I can't wait to see what this is. This has been one heck of a secret in the making. Although you could have done this a long time ago. I just didn't have the abilities to do it until recently. Two. I thought that used to say one. Everyone passes. Slide. Half do not return. Still not entirely certain what two zero means, but... Let's equip... This. Put the chalice back. Thank you. Oh, it's the final... The final weapon upgrade. What the heck? I mean, we'll do more damage and we have access to the final abil ability. Your ranged attack after launching the projectile causes a sacred explosion at the farthest point. It consumes fervor. Okay. Well, at least now we know. <laughs> so that room has been completed. And now I, I legitimately have nothing on the map. I've done everything. I've killed the bone boss. We've explored up. I don't know how to access this area. I don't know if there's any more of the shard doorways. There probably are. I don't know where they are. I've immediately forgotten what was in this room. I'm going to assume not much. Yeah, I think we are good to go. We're going to go up and fight the final boss now. Now, how do we get there? <laughs> Going down to the right is a pretty fast way of getting there. Yeah, that's it. Um, I don't know what to do with all of these in ingredients that I still have. I'm assuming it... Whoa, what the heck is going on with the camera? I'm assuming that some of it is just stuff that I can't access because I have, like, failed objectives or failed quests. Which is a possibility. Disp, you raise a good point. I will... Think about that in a moment, <laughs> to go back to the room that had the two on it. Because maybe there's something else with that now. Here's the thing, though. I gotta go through this room now. I think I can probably make it back up, though. It would be cool if there was another, like, secret there or something. Um... Gotta 
go. Oh, we can just call the elevator down. I think I think I can jump down this shaft from the top, so we can just jump down and hopefully get access to that again. Cause yeah, that was a very good that's a very good point. That room. There's something going on with it. Clunk. Let's see. Oh, it's uh to the other side. Three. Pardon me? Everyone passes. Half do not return. Okay. Four. Zero. One. One. Oh, so... Huh. Everyone passes, half do not return. Maybe just 5-5? Five, Because five? that's the highest number, I think? Yeah, sure, that's that's what I meant. <laughs> the heck is this? Silver grape? Oh, it's a bead. Dead fruit. Enhancing their defenses considerably. Oh, maybe take that over the dove skull, because it does seem like it is just an upgrade. All right, I didn't expect there to be an item. There you go. What a strange little puzzle. Um. Okay, it's done. <laughs> hmm. Uh, we can just fall. Oh, I can't even land there with the red freaking door. Arrgh. That's okay, we can go back up to El Biro very quick. Okay. See, I was what I was hoping as I was experimenting with the puzzle there. I was really hoping that it wasn't going to be you have to pass through the room in one direction several times, like you have to loop around and go through the door again, cuz that would have been annoying. But there you go. Mission accomplished. Objective completed. Quest solved. This way. I do not care. Give me all you want. Come on! You know what? Maybe there's something changed in the bone room. And I'm telling you, after this, we're going to fight the boss and see what happens. Might have been another secret a couple of rooms back, says Carl Chaos. You're gonna have to be a little bit more specific than that. <laughs> I think, uh, I don't have any, like, quests that I'm currently tracking right now. That was the final thing that I wanted to do. I have nothing else on my map. So unless you have, like, a very specific go do something. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna go fight the boss. I think you can slide through the bottom of the vent. Done it. Uh, right here, here, here. One of these freaking hall passageways had one of those. Citra says, ever find anything weird in the sewers? You mean like loot? I don't know why there's bones in the sewers, but I found some bones. What do you mean, like, beware of the blob? Something like that. 
I don't think I found any blobs in the sewers. Something truly out of place. Yeah, that puzzle puzzle was out of place. <laughs> what is? Oh my god! Every freaking time, man. <sighs> Be more specific. Well, it's more like, dude, I've been playing 20 hours of this game. <laughs> I don't remember exactly where everything is, and I think I've done everything on the map. If I miss something at this point, I got no freaking idea. I think I'm just gonna go fight the boss. You mother... At least it doesn't matter. I'm just hinting. Hint, hint. Wink. Nudge, nudge. I don't know. I found a bone guy in the sewers. Oh, I gotta get my freaking souls again, man. It's the same spikes from earlier, says disposable. Yeah, it is. Oh, wait, this is actually the room. Hold on. My souls are right there. That's okay. <sighs> Platforming can be kind of hard in this game. Okay, don't hold right. You wanna know what it is? I, I don't expect myself to stand there when I spawn. I expect myself to walk out of the door. Because you walk all the way into the door to progress to the next area, but you don't walk out of the door, you're already standing here. And so I'd always just walk one step. See, like, even in this room, I'm in the doorway, not up against the ledge. It's that little subtle difference that makes a difference. You know? You know? You know? I think this is up. It's always spikes in this game, says Zedra. Spikes and bosses. And traps. And other traps, too. Alright. Let's do it. The ambulatory of his holiness. The woman here who said, I can't go with you. Is this salt or snow? In my dreams, I heard your footsteps coming closer. In my dreams, I tried to talk to you and introduce myself. Guardian of the miracle and of the miracle banner, with great pain, I carry the emblem of the Father. I am the hands of bloodied skin. I am the eyes from which your mother gazes. But nothing I know of you, apart from your cold, nameless visage, apart from your calloused and wounded hands, apart from the mourning of your deaths. No, I know nothing of you. Only the miracle knows. Now may your sword, full of guilt, with mine of gold, collide. Let them hurt and march in procession. I curse you forever in name. I bless you forever in death. Wah, wah, wah. I can imagine I probably shouldn't get hit by these.
Wow, this guy really doesn't seem that hard, <laughs> but I think you're supposed to be able to fight him a lot earlier than we did. You have shattered the mirror in which you saw me asleep. Now you see me awoken as the son of the true miracle. Phase two? Second phase? Second phase. Second phase. Gotta be a second phase. I still have a health bar. It's gotta be a second phase. Oh, he is pretty big. Whoa. I do see a health bar on this thing. Just saying. All right, lasers. There's also a person around the uh, neck, which is very interesting. Okay. You hit the head, you hit the head now. Lots of, lots of lasers. Oh, and the sword's back. So you have a limited amount of time to hit. Well, that did freaking nothing. I, w I would like to get closer and hit you and not fall so much, please. <laughs> and not have laser beams! You son of a gun. I can't see you, you're a... Can you come back to the screen, please? Please come back. You just spawned on the screen because you were so far off of it. <laughs> Generally not a, a big fan of types of fights like this where... That's gonna hurt. You have, you know, limited time to, to hit the boss or something. At least we're doing good damage when we get in there. Uh, we just do so much knockback, we can't hit this guy. Can you, can, okay, yeah, I mean, can you stop, please? Ugh, that's gonna hurt. Not by that much, though. Oh, we got it. Oh my god, can I move? Please. <laughs> oh my god. Well, where's the sword? Like, sometimes the sword just, like, isn't on the screen. Can we... Uh, not die to fireballs? No! You're so close! Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, thank you very much. Don't be a third phase. Be his soul. 
uh, achieving enlightenment. What is Sama Blasphema? The ultimate blasphemy? Now I know we're done with the game because I have no health bar. <laughs> True final. How did you get here? You have freed his holiness from his afflicted torment. And now he walks by the old processions on the other side of the dream. The cradle of the grievous miracle. The final relic. The grail of blood and gold that emanated from the forehead of the father as he silently lamented the moment of his blessed twisting. That first relic is here, at the top of the Ashen Mountain, next to the Turn Throne, where His Holiness was kissed by a miraculous pain. And now, your final communion with the miracle awaits. Only you would be able to know how much of it has seeped into your guilty heart. Your communion. Thank you. Ugh. It's so hard to climb this mountain. I assume it's intentional and not a bug, but honestly, I, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I, maybe it was because I talked to the guy. of ashes that swallowed up sins and sinners alike has had no mercy on you either. At the mercy of the miracle you were, and at the mercy of the miracle you remain. You are no longer anything but one more anonymous visage, without a voice, without countenance. Your penitence is over. You fool! You foolish fool! I wonder if there's another ending where you just leave and you're like, nah. <laughs> Bad ending. That's alright. It was a fun game. I enjoyed Blasphemous. I did. I think that a lot of the boss fights were a little bit underwhelming, unfortunately. But I had a lot of fun with my first boss, the one that I accidentally skipped ahead to. The one with the three ladies. It was a very difficult fight, but I think that one I had the most fun with. Game can be a little bit glitchy at times, and a little bit buggy. Uh, the I, I kind of like the world building. I like the fact that you, or at least I, really just don't have any idea what's happening. <laughs> I like that feeling of being lost. I wish I had a little bit more direction of where to go and where to find certain things that I was missing. Um, I did completely skip several, in the end, completely optional areas and, you know, movement mechanics. But that's okay, you know, that's on me. I did it. I'm the one who missed the items. I didn't go left, I went right. My bad. Did we ever get the thorn? Hey, true apostasy aspect unlocked. Still don't know what those are. Did we ever get the thorn drawing blood and the blood dripping to the father on our knob? Because if we didn't, then that probably has some true end game potential there. Sacred Sorrow, select a saved profile. Select a course. 
course? Like, as in food? Complete the first sorrow of the brother to unlock this course. Second sorrow. Defeat Laudus the first Amendia. Complete all courses in difficulty level True Torment to unlock this course. Complete all of the previous courses and fulfill your purpose in the Eternal Processions. No freaking idea. Um, there you go, Skin Selector. Skins have been unlocked. Background Selector? Oh, we, hey, I didn't know this. Oh, look at that guy. He's got a big old red face, huh? The Stir of Dawn. I don't remember who Bone Lady was. This really is just Hollow Knight, <laughs> which, which I find very, very amusing to me. Thorns related to the other ending. Yeah, we must have missed the thorn and whatever ending the thorn would have given us. But I, I know that there's a lot of stuff that we missed. We missed doing the olive tree guy quick enough because I was exploring and I didn't know what to do. Uh, you can fight the sister by the tree only once. And if you die, that's it. You can't fight her again. You can probably get to her grave before you fight the brother, and there's probably, like, questing to do with that. Yeah, so, more to do. More to do. And probably other secrets that we've missed as well. Someone says something about an arcade. <laughs> Somewhere in the sewers, potentially. Um, but I liked Blasphemous. Not perfect, but a very good game, and I'm uh, glad that I played it. For now... For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support the channel at the various links below in the video description. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of something.